What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ladies, guys, whoever's out there watching this video right now, it's gonna be a busy, busy day for me. Uh, we got two new bikes to unbox that we're gonna check out. Um, I'm just gonna do an unboxing of them myself because I like to put on some music. Um, we got a package from Beyond Riders, so we'll put that on probably in the video after I show you guys and maybe we'll go for like a quick ride or something on one of my bikes. We can kind of see how that is, give you my thoughts on it at the end of the video. And then we got a package from Milk Racing. I thought it was like Milk Race or like M-I-K Racing. That's what it was, but it's actually Milk Racing. They have a milk bottle with a little electric logo on there. A long time ago, I guys told you when I was riding with my buddy Sal, he was on the Onyx RCR, that I was gonna do a top speed test on my Suron. Well, I finally got the part to do that and we'll do an unboxing of that too, but we got a lot of stuff to unbox. So here's one of the bikes. This is like a, uh, how would you say it's like a, Tronix, I think that's how you say it. It's almost like electronics, but it's like Tronix or Tronix. And it's the Explorer. And this is a fat tire mountain bike. And it's very similar to the Aerial Rider Kepler over here, um, which is hella dirty because the last time we rode this, we went through a bunch of fog and mist and everything like that. I was just freezing my ass off. But this is gonna be a badass bike. Um, it's like 22 or $2,300. It's in a badass blue color. You guys gotta check this out. I was kind of peeking in the box a little bit. We're obviously gonna show it to you once it's all put together. But, get a little peek in there. Got a Bafang motor down there. Come on, focus, camera, focus. Um, yeah, it's really hard to see. I did notice that there was a box just chilling here that has nothing in it. Like, <laughs> So uh, what went in that box? Something like fell out somewhere in here, so hopefully nothing got damaged. But I actually watched a review video on this bike being unboxed and someone had the exact same problem, which is funny as hell. And since I have so many bikes in this garage, let me show you where the other bike is that we're gonna be unboxing. Here is the other bike because I have no room in the garage. <laughs> Off-road X50, um, it's gonna be a smaller, slower e-bike. I think it does like 25 miles per hour. So we'll check that out. I think it'd be perfect for uh, like kids and stuff like that or younger people uh, that aren't trying to go too fast. I don't think it has a very high weight capacity either. All right, so let's get to unboxing this and check it out. Um, Beyond Riders always will give you a bag. So you always have a nice bag to put your uh, stuff in. It has little things that you can hang it on or you can put this around your back if you're uh, riding your bike or something like that. Got some straps. Um, there's gonna be some stickers in here too. Hopefully they did not get bent because sometimes uh, these things get messed up in shipment. So you have your, uh, your back pad right here. This is a very nice add-on. Now we got some more pads in here. This looks like they are for the chest. So I'm assuming these are gonna go like right in the front right here. These feel uh, very nice. And this is uh, telling you about the pads right here. Go into here, this is the main jacket. Let me get to that in a second. Um, so here are the shoulders. So they're gonna sit uh, right here. And then let me get a little closer on the camera. You guys can see there's a, uh, these did not get messed up, thank God. So these are the stickers right here. If you guys can see that, it's probably not focusing too well. It likes to focus on my face. And uh, we have some other pads that should be in here too. I believe we got four more pads in here, yeah. Um, we're gonna have some that sit right here. So I'm gonna put the sweater on and see how it feels. I got a large, I'm about 5'9", 5'10", about 160 pounds, just to give you an idea of how it's gonna fit you. All right, this is nice. Um, I went with the all black because I have a red and blue jacket from them already, but uh, it's very nice material. It's not bad at all. Um, I do wish that uh, maybe they had one that didn't have the zipper down the, the middle, like something like this. I kind of like these a lot more, but that's just my personal preference. But um, feels really good. You got pockets in the front right here. Um, oh, there's zipper pockets. So they're not, you don't just put your hand in there. So you actually have to use the zipper on this part. And uh, so you can do that, open this up. Okay, I will say that the pockets are a little tiny, especially like for my hands. My hands like barely fit in there, but you could definitely put something in there. Let's get this unzipped and uh, check out the inside. So you have your Kevlar interior right here. So if you do like go and slide, um, you should be okay and hopefully you won't get too uh, road rashed up. This is where the back pad is gonna go. You can already see that right there. And then this is where the top pad's gonna go. And then to put the one in the arm, the one in this spot right here, you basically just have to um, flip this inside out and then you can see where both those pads go, if you guys can see that. 
And then you also have pockets right here too. See, these pockets are a little bit bigger, the ones that you have inside. And then, let's see. Oh yeah, so they did the same thing on this jacket that all the other ones that they have. So if you have glasses or anything like that, you have this little pocket right here and you can come down, wipe your glasses and stuff like that. That's really nice if you uh, have glasses. And the one other thing I really like about them is the fact that you have these things that latch up to your uh, belt or your jeans and you can basically pop these off, put them on there and we get this um, button. And they're, they're really stretchy, so they will fit depending on your, uh, your height and everything like that or where your jeans sit up, they're high or low. And uh, basically makes it so your shirt's not gonna like flap all over the place. It's gonna be like secure down, especially if you go sliding too. So I'm gonna put this on for the rest of this video and get this stuff unboxed. And then at the end of the video, we'll go for a ride and we'll uh, see how it is. But it looks promising so far. And I like the hoodie part. All right, so I was just putting this on and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this is not because I want you guys to go out and buy this right now, but this feels so comfortable. Like I don't have the pads in there yet, but this feels super nice, very nice. And I couldn't really show me putting it on because I needed my microphone uh, attached to it so you guys can hear me. Zips up very nice too. This is uh, how it looks. Let me get this in here so you guys can see how it looks with my hands in here. So this is how it pretty much looks on me. And from the side, again, this is the large, 160 pounds, about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Fits pretty good. Very comfortable. I'm hoping I don't dirty it up too much unboxing these bikes, but we're gonna use it for the rest of this video and I love this. So it has some holes right here and that means you can put your thumbs right through here. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Like you're still gonna wanna put some gloves on and everything like that, but I love that because then that means your gloves will go over this part and you're not gonna have any part of your hand exposed. That is pretty nice. Sorry, you guys can't see my head, but that's dope. All right, let's get to unboxing this stuff. I'm not gonna show the whole process of doing these bikes, but we'll definitely show you the process if I run into any issues and we'll show them together. What does this go to? <laughs> Got the fender. By the way, these are metal, so it's pretty nice. All the bikes I always get are plastic. I like metal fenders, they're heavier, but at the same time, they're uh, definitely more durable. All right, this box looks like it's gonna be for the pedals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably some tools in here too. Oh, I found what was in that box. It's this charger. It's a fanless charger, which is nice. Um, this is one end of it. We're still missing the other end that goes into the wall, but a uh, very heavy brick too. Three amps, I thought it was gonna be more than that because the way it feels, it feels nice and sturdy and heavy. Um, these are similar to some of the other chargers I get with bikes, but uh, I like that it's fanless. It shouldn't make any noise. It did get kind of beat up though. All right, here comes the big wheel. Holy moly. <laughs> Man, these things are so massive. I do like the tire tread on this. Compared to the Kepler over here, it's just different. I don't know if you guys can see the Kepler from that camera angle, but these are some knobby tires, like absolutely knobbies. Can you guys see that? Is it focusing? Hopefully. <laughs> Um, wow, those are knobby as hell. So the rest of the video is pretty much gonna be me pulling this out of the box and then it's gonna be together and then we'll check it out. All right, so I'm finally done putting the bike together. Let's check it out and show you. So here it is, the nice blue color. This thing looks pretty. And if uh, now I can give you a better idea, look at these tires compared to the Kepler over there. These things are meaty. These things can go through some terrain. Compared to these, these are kind of like low profile uh, knobbies. These are like some serious shit right here. The suspension feels so premium. It barely moves. These are some very nice shocks in the front. And it does have some cool brake lights that I saw right back here. Like I said, we're gonna do a whole video on this bike and show you guys everything. Um, the buttons up here are cool. The screen is cool has a light right here. I don't really think the light's gonna do too well, but I mean, only time will tell. But it's a very nice quality bike. Very easy to put together, maybe like 45 minutes tops, and it's done. Now we gotta get started on the other bike. So we got this bike out in the garage because it makes a mess when you got all the styrofoam coming out and all that stuff. So uh, we're just gonna take it out of the box here. But let's get a look at it because I actually don't remember what this bike is supposed to look like. Because when I was going back through conversations talking to this company, um, I didn't really do a lot of research on it yet. And I said, hey, 
I want to get paid this money before I do it. Give me some more specs on it. And uh, they said, hey, we shipped out the bike to the address that you gave us. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so they were really quick to send me something before I second guessed uh, reviewing the product. So uh, let's check this out and uh, see what we're working with. And try not to get stabbed by these clips. I'm not a big fan of uh, boxes that use these like copper looking clips. I know they're not copper, but I don't like, like these things. They can fall out in your garage. You can run them over on your regular like car and have a flat, it's, it's pain in so you gotta be careful. All right, so we've got one big box right here. What's in here? There's a lot of stuff going on in here. So uh, looking inside this box, if you guys can see, we got some, uh, we got some tools. Uh, we got a towel, headwear. So it's made to go around your head like a headband. Oh, they give you a bike lock. There's an actual bike lock in here. What? <laughs> I've never had a company send me a bike that had a lock in it. I mean that that's cool. Like yeah, someone could cut through this in no time, but I mean that that's cool. I'm not gonna not gonna hate on it. There's a phone mount in here, there's some pedals, and then there's a uh, pump. So if you don't have like an air compressor like I do or a bicycle pump, which I I'm assuming you guys have, you guys have a bike. Um, the charger looks like it's in here too. And then um, this is a pretty big beefy headlight. You guys can't see that, but uh pretty big. So let's get this bike out and see what it looks like. Come on. There we go. Man, there's a styrofoam that was uh, really hard to take it out of the box. It was this front part. If I would have taken this off, then we would have got it out a lot easier. Let me see if there's anything extra in the box. Oh, yeah, the battery's just sitting on the bottom. What? Man. This battery, it's not like deeply scratched, but I can see a lot of uh, stuff in it. So if you guys can see this, bring you guys in here. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys are uh, seeing that on camera, but it's like really uh, scruffed up basically. But yeah, it's just sitting in the box. So I'm assuming it had to been maybe on the bike and it fell off or that's just how they ship them. Um, all right. <laughs> and then, this looks like a little mini fender for the back, like, or maybe the front, but it looks like for the back. This is a baby ass fender and it's already broken. You guys can see that so you guys know I'm not lying. This thing is broken. <laughs> you guys see that? Look at that. Man, come on, man. What's up with that? I'm gonna have to dock them some points for that because if I bought this bike and it came damaged like that, I'd be kind of mad. So, uh, I'm not off to a good start so far, but let me get this unwrapped so we can get a better look at what the bike actually looks like because I still need to understand what we got delivered to us. So I'm not fully done putting this together, but here it is. This is how it looks. We're missing the front fender. Obviously that got damaged in shipment. Um, we got the headlight sitting right here in the box. And uh, overall, it's an interesting looking bike. It's smaller in person than uh, it probably looks over camera or maybe you guys are seeing how it is. It is taller than the Zeus, don't get me wrong. It definitely sits higher than the Zeus. Definitely a cool look to it. Um, it's a 750 watt rear hub motor. It's a 48 volt system. I'm expecting this thing to be like peppy and like pick up speed fast because it's so lightweight. It's a very, very lightweight bike. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But what's funny is when it came, the seat's not bolted yet. Um, it comes like this. You have to bolt the seat down yourself, but it shows you the controller right here. So I guess we can get an idea of um, this controller since it's not bolted. What does it say? 21 amps is the max current that you can go to. So uh, 21 amps on this bike, I think is gonna be uh, pretty exciting. It's not like a bike I was really excited to review, but if it's gonna like give me some speed or power, well actually not speed, I think it's 25 miles an hour max is what it does, but I'm, I'm expecting to get up there quick, but we'll see about that. Um, this bike for the price range, it's on the lower side, it's not very expensive, and it does come with turn singles, which is pretty uh, pretty nice. It's an extra step on you know assembly and stuff, so it's gonna take a little bit extra time to do. But the fact that it comes with turn singles is pretty dope, and it uses a brake light that I believe has turn signals in it, just like the Kepler does. I'm pretty sure I could be 100% wrong, but this isn't a review video. I'm just kind of going over the bike and checking out. And honestly, I have not even been to their website yet. So I'll definitely get all my facts straight when we actually review this bike. The only thing I'm gonna hate on it right off the bat, 
these bars. These bars are ugly. If this didn't have all the spacers right here and these bars set lower and they were like maybe like this and they were kind of like, uh, like this bike right here. This bike is dope. The BR100, is that focusing? I love the handlebars on this thing and I feel like if they would have kept it short like that, this would have been a very like sporty feeling bike. But since it sits so tall, I feel like it feels, it looks like a chopper. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I got a little bit more stuff to do, and then we still got to uh, unbox the Milk Racing package for the Suron that's sitting over here. And then I also, if I have time, I don't know if we have time, but I need to get to the Zeus, and we need to fix the um, the kickstand that bent and broke on the last video when I put that uh, phase runner on that bike. So stay tuned. We still got a lot more stuff to do. All right, so that bike is done, and we're moving on because that took a lot longer than I thought. So we're gonna move on to the Zeus and I uh, have it sitting up like this because we have no kickstand on it. So I am going to hammer this back as much as possible because this bracket is bent pretty bad. And then we're gonna get the new kickstand on there that will have a leg on this side, a leg on the bottom side. Which it looks like this. And I heard this is very good in the Zeus community. So I figured I would try it out also because well, I mean, I have to anyway, I broke the other one. All right, so as I was installing this, I realized that um, this is not going to work, I don't think. It's already falling over. Um, I had to use the original bolt from my old kickstand because the one that it came with wasn't long enough because this frame isn't very thick right here. And I do have the bracket on there and I'm baiting if I'm gonna take the bracket off or not. I did not hammer any of the dents out or nothing. So uh, I'm just gonna try it and wing it. We'll see if it works or not, and if it doesn't, we'll have to uh, figure out another plan. All right, so a change of plans on this bike. I actually had to hammer this section out because it was bent so much that this thing was actually leaning too far forward and the bike was still falling over. So basically what I had to do is I got this, this will focus, and I put this end on there so I got kind of more surface area and then I just used my big ass hammer. So obviously the paint underneath the bike is all like chipped up or the kickstand would be, but no one's ever gonna notice that. It's an okay kickstand. I actually had to go up one extra level on the kickstand because this is adjustable. Let me go to the other side and show you really quick. So on this side, you're gonna see you have a uh, bolt. So you got one bolt right here, one bolt on here. You're gonna notice that uh, I'm not on the very bottom one, I went one up. And that obviously takes the front tire off of the ground completely. But my bike, even when I hammered it, would not sit with the lowest level on there. So hopefully that's okay. It's not the sturdiest being on like a cardboard box right here. But hopefully it's gonna be okay once we do a heavier like 72 volt battery in there, which I still have to order. I'm still waiting for powerful lithium to contact me but until i hear back from them uh we won't have a 72 volt battery for that so let's just wait until powerful lithium hits us up and then let's go into the last box we got to open which is from milk racing and i'm not going to install this one today i'm kind of over today i've been out here for five hours but uh anyway let's open that last box really quick and then we'll take this out for a spin again just really quick with this jacket on i'll kind of give you my impressions on how it is and whatnot but it's working pretty good right now all right, so they did not make this easy to unbox and I need to hurry up because I see my camera flashing. I only have one battery for this camera that we're using right now before we go to the GoPro. So uh, let me see if I can get in here really quick and we can check it out. Oh, come on. It feels a lot heavier to me than what I actually ordered from the company. So I'm kind of like, what else did they put in here? Unless that's just how it is. Do I really need the box? Nah. I know I probably shouldn't do it that way, but I don't, I don't really need the box. Oh, I think I see why. Okay, so here is our sprocket that we need. This should be, this should be like a 40 or a 42. I think it's a 40, but it looks, it looks big to me. I need to check the receipt on what I ordered. And this is the chain that comes with it. So I need a new chain for the Suron because I've had that one on there for the longest time. That's only my second chain I've had on the Suron. Um, this looks like bolts. Okay, oh, okay, there's a big hole in the bottom of the, the bag. The bag opens up here and they're falling out the bottom. So these are, I think these are the bolts to hold the sprocket to the wheel and uh, they give you some Loctite. So it's actually pretty nice. I guess I should uh, unwrap this so you guys can see what it looks like. It's supposed to be machined, CNC. Tell you right now, it was expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This thing was really expensive. 
and it took how long? Like two months to come in? Okay, so it's a 40 tooth, okay. So it's a pretty small one, so we're gonna get more uh, top speed out of the Suron, but that's kind of where I'm at. That's what I wanna have. Has our little milk racing logo right there. It's pretty nice. I mean, this is CNC machined. I mean, it feels beefy. I don't, I don't think you're really gonna have a problem with a sprocket unless uh, you do some crazy shit with your Suron and like hit it on something, but I don't do none of that. So um, that's all we really had to unbox. So now let's just go take out the Zeus with this jacket and uh, just go ride and go have a little bit of fun. And then we'll be done with the video for today. Yeah, not too bad. Look at that, I, I kind of like that. I don't know if you're actually supposed to use it like that, but uh, that's how I'm using it. Pretty dope. All right, let's turn this bike on. We still have not bolted this seat down to the Zeus. <laughs> We're at 58.7 volts. And uh, I had this problem the other day too. So I turned it on, the throttle wasn't doing anything. I don't know if it has to do with the controller or um, accidentally turning it on and off very quick. Okay, but there it goes. Now we're like, now we're on the way to moving. And this thing is uh, definitely fast. I was messing around with the settings. Oh, squirrel, don't, don't run in front of me, please. And uh, I set on the bike after going back down to like 1500 watts. And I went back down to the, oh man, is it like 21 amps or something like that? And uh, oh my God, it was slow. It was like, it felt like, how the Zeus was when I first got on it. And then when I put it back up to the power, I was like, oh, okay, no, this thing's like three times as torquey, maybe four times as torquey. It gets up to speed so much faster. And we didn't change anything on the bike that would make it like heavier or anything like that. Like if we went 72 volt, then yeah. But I mean, all we did is add a smaller controller. We took a bigger controller off that weighed more than this one. So it's like, <laughs> we actually kind of uh, say some weight at the same time. That's pretty dope. So with this, uh, jacket i got on right now from beyond riders it's breathable it's definitely breathable because uh, i can feel like all the wind coming through it so uh this would still be good for a decent hot day i was actually getting very hot in the garage while wearing it but uh while i'm out here no i'm starting to get a little uh a cold out here it's about i think like 46 or 47 today it's a pretty nice day out that's why i'm kind of uh, out riding whoa how many kids are over here they're just chilling going to a liquor store or something. Yeah. Go. Okay. People, I swear. I was trying not to uh, go down past like two miles per hour because I didn't want the bike to start jerking all over the place and I would have to push out with my feet. So I was like, okay, let me get a running start. And then they just stopped in the middle of the road. But I think it's because those kids just started like walking across. The only thing I'm noticing on this uh, bike, as we're going down voltage, we're definitely losing top speed like very fast. Like we were hitting 37 when it was like full out. And now we're only hitting like, what did it say? Like 33, 34. And we're not like that far down. We're only down to 57 volts, which isn't a lot. So I'm a little surprised on how much we're losing on top speed. Like I said, there's a lot of adjustments we gotta do and we'll get there one of these days. But I really hope you guys appreciated this uh, long video. It, it would have been so much longer if I would have recorded me putting those bikes together. My sister came over, we started talking and then it got me behind. I was putting my music on. Then when I had to record, take the music off. Oh, it took me a whole bunch of time to put these bikes together. Um, if I would have just straight done it without doing anything, uh, it would have probably took me like 30, 35 minutes on one bike, but it took me like 45 to 50 minutes on one bike. And then the other bike actually, um, the smaller one took me less time, but the seat was a bitch. The way they have that seat is a pain in the ass. I was actually kind of mad about it. So like you can't get a socket on the 10 millimeter uh, nuts. It took me like, I don't know, 80 turns, 100 turns just to get those two nuts in the front underneath the seat. I'll probably talk about it in my review video when we do it, but yeah, and there's a lot of problems we had. And I thought in the video, I'm probably not even gonna include it, but I thought I lost the charger, um, like half of the charger for the bike when I uh, opened it up and come to find out it was sitting on another box. So I think what happened is um, it must've fell out of the box somehow. And then the person that like delivered it probably said, hey, this was to it, this came out. 
and that's why it wasn't in the box so i was missing half the charger but uh i'm probably not going to include it we're just going to leave that out i wasn't home when those bikes got delivered which was it's been a week now since they got delivered it's just trying to get to stuff man when you work 40 hours a week is really hard but i really hope you guys appreciate this video and me going over all these bumps <laughs> and those burn down trucks that are still here absolutely insane i'm gonna eat i'm hungry i actually haven't ate at all i had was like a red bull this morning my first red bull in like three or four months and now i just want to go relax i'll probably go edit this video and i don't know just chill but so far so good on the zeus bike and we just gotta work on it a little bit more i'm gonna wait until i get a laptop and then once i get the laptop i can do a lot of tuning because then i can do it in my garage and uh, we'll be good oh hey you know what? one thing let's end the video on this note real quick it's not really a positive one but something i wanted to show you guys so obviously we got the new kickstand right the kickstand's cool i like the fact that it just it sits right here it doesn't even hit the tires at all but check this out you can't do the kickstand with the bike like that so you actually have to lift it up so i gotta lift it up like this and then you can put it on the kickstand like that so I don't like the fact that uh, I have to lift the bike up every time to do it. So if my girl rode this bike for whatever reason, she's not going to want to lift this bike up. It's not very heavy, but it's kind of a pain in the ass, right? Uh, moving it back is a little bit easier because you can put all the weight on the front wheel and then you can kind of just push it back. But, uh, you know, just something I wanted to uh, mention to you guys. And uh, oh, let me push off and get going. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, God, <laughs> she almost flew off on me. Love all you guys. You guys are the true MVPs, and that's a clean Corvette right there. One of these days. We keep getting views, I'll buy something. It'll probably be a Tesla, to be honest. That's what I really want. But all right, guys. Take care. Ride safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be the review videos for these bikes that I have sitting in my garage.